So we are down today in Burnham on Crouch. Well, we're actually a bit beyond Burnham. We're at Hollywell Point, joined by Super Pop Bro. Joe's Hello. behind the camera. And we're gonna check out a minefield control tower, huge, huge pillbox type building from World War II. And despite not being that far away from where we actually live, we've still never been there. So today we're gonna to go and have a look. On a crisp Sunday afternoon, joined by Super Pop Bro, we followed the footpath across the Denji Peninsula, passing through farmland to get to a unique Second World War defence. Our first stop was at one of many peel boxes in the area. So the first place we're going to have a little look at here is a pillbox. Before we get to the big one, we're going to check out these sort of more regular ones. This design is called the Essex Lozenger because it's shaped like a lozenger, like a little tablet. They're like a sort of hexagon type of shape that goes through the seawall. And I think basically um, it could fire out both ways. But the idea was you sort of go in from the safe side and then you could sort of shoot out like on the on the side where the enemies might be coming in. As they were built before the seawall was raised, they would have provided a 360 degree view, covering both the flat farmland and the surrounding estuary. But one of the most impressive pieces of military defence is the mine tower. As Germany continued to invade France, defences here were stepped up, especially around Burnham. The Royal Navy already had a floating boom across the water, but increased their defences to include mines in the estuary. It was decided in August 1940 to lay 11 groups of free mines. The pillbox opposite had a specific role in housing firing equipment and would have been one of many which was manned around the clock. The control tower was built a year later, in 1941, and is the only purpose-built minefield control tower that survives in England. An accommodation block was also constructed, however it was severely damaged by a parachute mine, just months after it was built. Eight years later, the listed building is still structurally secure, however exploring the three-storey tower isn't one for the faint-hearted. In we go guys, let's check it out. Could be a bit of asbestos, not actually too sure. But it's all right, we're all good. So yeah, we've got a ladder here guys. This is going up to the top level or something. It's actually a three-storey pillbox, but the third level is like a little um, temporary platform. So, yeah, so basically it's only really probably the two levels that we'd be able to get up unless we can climb amongst the, p the pigeon poo, which is why we're all kitted up, like we've gone into the Chernobyl reactor, because there's quite a bit of pigeon poo around here, especially upstairs. I think there's like actual layers like that on the floor. We're going to find out anyway. But it's a pretty impressive place, quite big, definitely unusual. And there's so many firing slits in here. It's not like any sort of pillbox that we've come across before. I mean, look, you've got one below and one above. How did that work? I don't know. <laughs> Back in the day, the home guard would have had one in each hand, just <laughs> Rambo. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they would have switched position. No idea. I got to say, this ladder probably wins the award for the grimmest ladder on a BT Peak slot. It is absolutely horrible. But nevertheless, I'm venturing into the unknown. Oh my god.
I mean, look at the floor here. Absolutely disgusting. Luckily, you can't smell it. I've got a thick mask on, but it still smells horrible. There's two dead pigeons there. Uh, quite a bit of graffiti here. 1990, that says up there. You can see as well the um, imprint on the concrete where it would have been cast and you would have had the uh, sort of wooden planks going across from where the mould would have been taken. And then up the top here you've almost, you've got the pointy dome bit where someone could have, would have stood on this platform here um, and then could have fired out the slits above. Bloody hell. This is nasty guys. It's like... How clean is your home or something? This is the kind of stuff that will give you some nasty disease. <laughs> it's quite cool, isn't it, though? So I think this big old firing set that we're at would have been for like a Vickers machine gun. Something a bit heavier than the sort of rifle slits down at the bottom. Um, and it's got a great view out to the river there. Right, we're right. Get out there in a minute. Yes, should we do it? 